Welcome to Linux Saint YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to talk about inputs and outputs to a file. So there are various functions in the C programming language, including the fprintf, fscanf, fread, fwrite, and fseek. We are going to use some of these functions to write data to a file, and we are going to use some of these functions again to read data from that file. So let's get to it. So the first thing that you need to know that there are two types of file. We have the text files and the binary files. In this tutorial, we're going to work with the text files only. So what are the file operations? So first off, we can create a new file or open an existing file. We can also close that file which saves us memory and then we can read and write to a file. So let's move to code and let's write some data to a file. To work with files, the first thing that you need to do, you need to include this library which is the stdlib which stands for standardlibrary.h. What we are going to do in this program is that we are going to create a new file and then we are going to write some integer data within that file. So let's simply create an integer value and let's create a file pointer. So we have the keyword file. Then we are going to create an f pointer. Now I'm going to use this pointer to open up my file. So in this f open function, the first thing that you do is you pass on the path to the file. And then in the second parameter or in the second argument, you pass on the opening modes. W stands for writing, WB stands for writing in binary, R stands for reading and so on. There are multiple opening modes available in the C programming language. Then we're going to check for an error. So we're simply saying if the pointer is null, that if there is no file like that, or if you're not getting access to that file, so simply print out the word error and then exit the program. But in case there is no error, then you simply prompt the user to write an integer value and then you write that value into the file. To write to a file, we have the function fprintf. So this function takes in three arguments. The first one is the pointer to the file. So we have fptr. The second one is the data type of the value that we want to write in our file. So since we are working with integer data type, we are going to write percentage %d. And then thirdly, we pass on the variable that contains the value. In our case, this was the num variable. Lastly, we always close the file to free up the memory. So for that we have the function fclose which takes in a file pointer which in our case is the fptr. An interesting fact about this fopen function is that if there is no such file as demo.txt then it is going to create that file. So if I move my explorer over here and if I run my program you can see at first there was no demo.txt file but now this program created a demo.txt file in the d directory. So now that program is asking for a number, so I'm going to simply say like 365. So now if I open up my file, I get the value 365. However, if I rerun this program and write something like 142 and check my file again, you can see the previous value has been removed and the new value 142 has been added to this file. This is because the opening mode W does this thing that it rewrites the data. So if I want to append it to the file, I use the opening mode A which is for appending. So if I save this program and run it again and I write something like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and then I open up my file again, you can see that the previous value 1, 4, 2 and the new value which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So the new values were appended at the end of the document. Next up, we're going to try and read data from the same file. So we're again going to create a variable for number and again just like the previous one we are going to create a file pointer and for this file pointer we are again going to open up a file and this time around for the opening mode we are going to write R which means that we are only going to read data and not write data to this file and for the if condition we are saying that if there is no such file or if there is any error then simply handle that error and if there is no error then we are going to use this fscanf function now this function takes three arguments the first one is same, the file pointer. The second one is the data type of the value that we want to read. Since we already know we used integer values, so I'm going to say percentage %d. And then for the third argument, we are going to pass in the address of our variable, just like we do in the normal scanf function. Lastly, we can print out the values that we have fetched from the file to the user onto the console by using a simple print f function. We can say something like the data from the file is as and like you already know we have to close the file to save memory so now if I run this program 
I get the output one four two one two three four five, which was the data inside that file. So that is how you work with files in the C programming language.